Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games, sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm, what have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. Guard rule number one. Always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee 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 wee! You pull over now, so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. What style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> now I got you, you little ow! That smart. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. What an amazing performance! We have a new gold medal winner! And now, in the Mama Dulap's Antarctic Games tradition, the winner of every event gets a meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> No gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me. Hmm, needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are! They ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. <laughs> what style? What a landing! That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Take the lead in the 100-mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. <laughs> You know, 
You don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. Let's hear us what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. What have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? <laughs> Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming hors d'oeuvre in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spazzerin. No delicious banana nut bread. And no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh. <laughs> you destroy my element of surprise. <laughs> How humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> Out of my way, you 
pilfering pipsqueak. Positively capital. Another brilliant solution. Now you listen here, you rooter beggar rubber, you <laughs> you horseradish highwayman! I demand my fair share of the spoils. <gasps> oh dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, the things I must endure. Tonight on the planet's stupidest people. Meet a man who swallowed watermelon seeds as a child. Today, they harvest enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now, back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer, who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? Why, that's doggone astounding! <laughs> Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. <laughs> Fetch, little feller. It's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Because a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. 
Hold on one flea flecking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. You're a penguin. Huh? Mm-mm-mm. Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> It's a well-known fact the dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. <laughs> Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. When you come back, I want to hear music are playing and your jete a swaying. Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mine the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. You are one incorrigible little critter. Huh? We're here for a follow-up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs, and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks, and there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, dog nabbit. No, oh, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow. <laughs> 